Hi everybody, welcome back to ECU Connection. Uh, JC here, just showing you the job of the day. Volvo S40. And what the customer complaint is, is no crank, no start. So let's see what is going on and see how we can fix it. This is a 2007 model. Um, it's an S40, they're pretty much the same as the V40s and other ones. So now if I try and start the car, put on the clutch, we can see we've got no crank, no start. And the warning on the dash, when we switch the ignition off says immobilizer try start again doesn't matter how many times you try it just goes wrong so let's hook up the scanner and see what the fault codes are so scanners all connected um, ignition is on and we're going to read what the main fault codes are so in the sem unit which is the body control module we have a fault code of a uh, sorry, 3A00, ECM software, faulty signal. This is quite common on these. Uh, this is a diesel model. And if the battery goes flat, quite often from changing a diesel filter, it will develop this code and it goes out of synchronization between the ECU and the BCM. So in the uh, ECM, we've got the fault codes relating to... Silly me, had the ignition off. So uh, going back into... ECM. We will now have comms with it. I'll read the fault codes. Uh, we have the fault codes of C326, Communication Control Module Faulty Signal, and C301, Control Module Faulty Software Checksum ECU. So the um, body control module needs to come to us. It's under there. The engine control module needs to come to us, which is under the uh, wheel arch. I'll show you that in a moment. And we also need for you to supply us some more information. So what we will need to do is to go back. This time we need to go into the ABS and we need to find the serial number. You need to write that down, which you will find in, it'll be in module information. So we click on module information and there we will see the ECU hardware serial number, the series of zeros, and then the numbers. So you need to take a photograph of that or write that down, supply us that, the BCM and the ECU, and then we'll show you how we get these running again. So the other way you can find it, some cars, you'll have to go into the read data streams and scroll down. I think on the Autel it's like that, but that's the details we need. So let's crack on and get these bits out and show you what we need to get this job done. Body control module are very similar to the Ford Focus, if you're familiar with those. And they're mounted up almost identical to the Focus. They're up here, they're just held in with these two turn buckle clips. Then it drops down and you take the multi plugs out. So let's keep, be getting that out. So there's the BCM out. Um, various little plugs you have to get off. I don't have time to show you how to take all the plugs out, but uh, basically these little ears. Uh, hook over um, a couple of pegs inside the glove box and you have to lift it out and then get these plugs out. Now they look very much like a Ford one, but they are really not like a Ford one inside. Engine control module needs to come out. Already stripped the inner wheel arch liner out. And the engine control module is located here and uh, there's a plastic cover on this that needs to come out. Let me just show you that. This plastic cover has to come off. I believe there's shear bolts in there, or not too sure. I'll have to ask my mechanic when he comes back. Actually, uh, the screws that hold the cover in, and they are, thankfully, cork screws and not shear bolts. Good old Volvo. Uh, so this engine ECU needs to come out. Now, the ones that we're interested in, the ones that go out of sync, are the SID 803, or the SID 803A. These are the ones that cause the problems. So uh, let's now whip these plugs off here and get it all assembled on the bench. So the ECU is hooked up on the bench. We're now going to see if we can uh, connect and read the dump files that we need. So we're going to see if we can connect. And there we're connected. So we're going to make a backup dump of the customer's ECU file. There's the EEPROM. So we're now going to save that and we're going to analyze that to start with. So now with the software running, first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up the EEPROM that we just read. And as you can see, it tells us the ABS ID is damaged and it comes up with uh, uh, 
a, a nonsense ABSID. That should come up with the serial number and this uh, synchronization date it should be different as well. So now what we're going to have to do, uh, synchronization is damaged it tells us. Now what we're going to have to do is read the body control module, the SEM unit, which is this module here. So let's get that on the bench. Let's take this off the bench and get these synchronized. Now we're inside the SEM unit. We're hooked up to this processor here that holds the data. Um, programmer tool all hooked up. So now we're going to read the EEPROM in this. There's the EEPROM. We're just going to verify that, back it up, uh, back the other files up that we need, and then start synchronizing. So the next thing to do is to go back to our software. We open up the EEPROM from the SEM unit. We transfer the data. We then have to uh, paste in the ABS ID. We save this EEPROM as the modified. And then we simply have to write that back to the engine control module, which is same process as reading the engine control module. But first we have to connect with it. Open up the file we've created. Write it in. It's written in quick as a flash. Now we have to just reassemble this all back on the car and see if it works. Right, so body control module, SEM module is back in. I haven't put it all back together completely yet because we just want to show you it all working, hopefully. ECU is back in. We now have uh, a booster pack on the battery because we don't want to have to go through all this again and cause the same problem by having a flat battery. So now, when we put the ignition on now, when I find the key, we get no error messages, book time for maintenance, take the key out. We're not getting the immobilizer fault anymore. Uh, should we just give it a crank and see or should we clear the codes? Let's just give it a crank and see. So moment of truth time. We crank and we're away. So last thing to do is clear the fault codes. So the scanner's all hooked up. We're now just running through the diagnostics and clearing these codes out. In the meantime, uh, a quick little message from ECU Connection to let you know where you can get this service done. And we'll get back to you in a second. If you need any vehicle programming performed on your vehicle, visit us at ecuconnection.co.uk where you'll find thousands of ECUs for sale in our ECU shop and thousands of services available in our services section of our website. Simply click on services at the top of the page and fill in the filters on the left hand side for what you need. For example, today we're looking for a Volvo SEM module programming service. Add it to the basket and pay with our secure payment link. You can pay by PayPal or card or come and visit us at our workshop in Norwich. When you've placed your order, send your units to us at ECU Connection. Addresses on the website. We'll get the job done and back to you in no time at all. Right, full scan is done. I'm not going to waste too much more time. I'm just going to do a quick clear of all the fault codes. So that's now going to scan through, clear all those out. Right, so as you can see, they're all clear. So next thing to do is a start cycle. So we're gonna, once more, ignition off, ignition on, start it up. Information is the bonnet open. Obviously it is because I've got my booster pack on there. So I'll switch it off. Another rescan, see if we've got any more codes come up. And there we have it final scan as you can see all the codes are now clear um, happy days so if you like the video please click the share the like the subscribe come and visit us at ecuconnection.co.uk for any programming you need thousands of services on there um, and uh, that's about it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one